Hey, what's up? This is Seth de la Web, and I'm back with another screencast. And today I'm going to show you how to upload your own custom font. And it's really easy because I'm using a plugin. Uh, there are different ways. You can also go to Font Scroll and then convert your font and then do the uploading customly and then put it in your CSS. Uh, but I like to really make things easy as possible. So I'm using this uh, plugin for about two years. It's called Use Any Font. And I must say, it always works. The upload procedure is super fast. And I uh, contact, contacted the developer and I asked to make it compatible for Flatsum, and he did it. So that's even cooler. So you can uh, quickly select the font from out of your theme options inside Flatsum. So I'm going to show you how to use this plugin. And I also have a discount code that you can use. I will show you directly. This is the one. Just use Seb de la Web. You can uh, use it. They have, uh, I think, three different license types, but you can uh, get the discounts on all of them. So Seb de la Web, and you can go to his website, dineshkarki.com, and uh, use the discount code. So, okay, I'm going to show you how to do this. Um, Septilo Web, this is my website. I also use a custom font. And by default, Flatsome is always working with Lato. So that's a Google font. And this is a, a basic Flatsome installation. Um, and uh, I always, I don't, when I, every time I see a Flatsome website and they didn't change the font, uh, the default font, Lato, I'm like, okay, come on, guys. That really makes the difference, selecting the right font combination um, and the custom fonts. So there are free uh, custom fonts out there and also premium. Um, today, I'm going to work with a free uh, font called Inter. It's the Inter font. I really like it. It's a sans serif font, and I'm using this for a Sep de la Web as well. So once you downloaded the file, this is the the zip file, you get a lot of uh, different font types or uh, yeah, you have OTF, TTF or a WAV file. And the nice thing about this plugin is you can upload any kind of uh, type and he will convert it for you. So let's get started. Let's go inside WordPress. And again, just a basic flat sum installation. And uh, we're going to uh, first uh, search the plugin. And probably a few years ago, the first thing what I searched was custom font. And then uh, when you have a look at them, you can see that the Use Any font has about 200,000 uh, active installations, and it's much more than uh, the other competitors. So I'm going to install Use Any font from Dinesh Kargi again. And then once I install it, uh, I'm also going to activate it, of course. And then uh, we can start working on it. So here on the left, you can see this extra button, Use Any font, and then you can uh, get started so first of all if you want to test it you can generate a free test api key and that only gives you the possibility to upload one font and i think to be honest that's too uh, less it's not enough for me as a designer because i always like to work with thick like bold headlines and a thinner font for the body fonts but anyway i'm gonna now work with the um, with the test api i'm gonna verify it and then we can start uploading our Font. So now what you can do is go to, uh, now you can see it as well, TTF, OTF, or WOF. Those are the file types that you can upload. Um, and I'm going to just, uh, for this tutorial, I'm just going to drag and drop my intermediate uh, to the font file. And then I'm going to give it a font name. And in this case, I always like to work with uh, the same name as my font file. So then I know... Um, which font it is, so that makes it easier to select it in the end. So I'm gonna upload it, and he does the converting. He, he converts it to a, a web-ready font, so that's really easy. And um, and again, only with this um, key, you can upload only one font. So if you want to upload more fonts, get, get your API key, and I will show you at the end of the tutorial how this works. So I, I think I men mentioned it already, but uh, this developer made it possible to have the font uh, be selected from the Flatsome theme options. So it's compatible and that's really cool. So you can go to Flatsome theme options, style, and then to typography. And then this is where the magic happens. You can select the font file through, um, uh, through the, to the font list. So you need to scroll all the way up 
and then you can see the, the CSS defaults. But when you scroll a little bit down, here you can find, oh, oh, you can, I think you already saw it. Uh, standard fonts, here's Intermedium. So that's the one I uploaded. And as you can see, it's working right away. So once you uploaded more fonts, it will be also uh, visible in the font list. So you can also select it as your font, base, font, and you can also select it as your navigation, of course. And that's really nice. So you can start playing around with that. I also like to uh, change the text transforms in most cases to be set to normal. And then this is a little bit like a glitch because once you disable the Google fonts, also all the things will be gone. Uh, I mean, the options that you have here. So it's important uh, you can click on this and then publish and it will still be working. Uh, the only thing is once you want to do some modifications, you need to dis or uncheck this again and then you get the options again. So I think you can you know, work around with this, but um, make sure if you disable it, that uh, uh, it's, it's still there, but you need to uncheck to see it again, okay? I think that makes sense. So uh, I, I think in many cases you want to disable the Google form because then uh, uh, your website will be loaded faster. So, um, okay, so what we did now is uh, we uploaded the font, we selected it through the theme options, and in some cases, uh, you maybe see a place inside your flat uh, theme that doesn't include the font. So I'm not sure if I can give you a good example now, but let's say here on the bottom, you can see uh, something and you're like, hey, I don't think this is the right font file. There is a way with the uh, use any font to add a class. So I'm gonna show you very quickly, and maybe this is a little bit technical. But when you go into the developer's uh, console, you can find classes. And once you know the class for the specific area you want to change, for example, this is the copyright footer class, I'm just gonna copy this class, go to, again, to the uh, plugin area, use any font, and here you can assign fonts to classes. So what you can do now is you can select the font, and then you can also select these, but we all already did this through the theme options. But here you can uh, add custom elements, so the custom classes. So here you can assign that specific font uh, to this specific class. So that makes it easier to, um, you can also do this through uh, CSS, of course, but this is just uh, a quick way to uh, assign a font to a specific class. I wanted to also explain that to you. Um, I think we're done. It's very fast forward. Uh, and now I want to show you the last part because maybe you want uh, the same uh, as me, want to have a, a key that gives you the option to uh, upload more fonts uh, than just one. You need to um, buy your key. Uh, let me see how that works. I think I always go to uh, use any font. I just Google them. And then you can find Dinesh Kargi. And this is the, the website that you want to visit. And then you can click on uh, buy now, use any font API key. And again, he gives great support. It's working good. And um, I'm, I'm really happy with this plugin. Um, since I'm a web designer, I'm, you know, I want to not be limited to any website. So I have chosen the unlimited websites and it's nice because it's all lifetime. And then you can uh, purchase it. And then again, by using the uh, discount code set the low app, uh, you will get that 20% 20, 20 discount of the total price. So that's how you do it. You will get your API key and that you can use for any project. So um, let me know what you think of this tutorial and if it works for you. I'm like, again, I'm using this for a couple of years now and I'm very happy with it. It saves me a lot of time and hassle. And uh, again, I like to use custom fonts as much as possible inside my websites to make it look uh, yeah, different and, uh, and, and custom. Um, okay, so that's about it. Good luck creating uh, awesome websites again, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye. Ciao.